Samantha Ray's heart pounded as she stood on the rain-slicked rooftop, the city's neon lights bleeding together in a kaleidoscope of color far below. The sleek, form-fitting catsuite clung to her athletic frame, as dark as the rage that had burned in her soul for the past twenty years. Tonight, she would finally come face to face with the man who had shattered her world. The man whose cruelty had forged her into the merciless weapon she was now, Damien Reeves. Her father. As she stared down the scope of her sniper rifle, finger caressing the trigger, memories assaulted her. Memories of a little girl cowering in her princess bed as shouting and shattering glass echoed from downstairs. Of her mother's broken body, lying in a pool of blood, her once vibrant blue eyes vacant and accusing. Of the cold muzzle of a gun pressed to her tear-stained cheek as her father smiled and whispered, You'll keep our secret, won't you, Sammy? A child's innocence, ripped away in one blood-soaked night. The night her father's true nature was laid bare, a monster masquerading as a family man. A ruthless crime lord, hiding behind the mask of a doting father. Samantha blinked away the stinging tears, forcing the memories back into the deep, dark place she kept locked inside. She couldn't afford distractions. Not when she was so close to the vengeance she dedicated her life to. The FBI had given her the perfect opportunity, infiltrate Damien's inner circle, and eliminate the target. Little did they know, this mission was personal. Her earpiece crackled to life, a familiar voice cutting through the static. Shadow, you in position? Affirmative whisper. Her handler and only confidant. Former Nye Six. She didn't know his real name, only that he understood the anger that drove her. The need to right wrongs in a world gone mad. Target will be exiting the building in five. Do you have a clear line of sight? Samantha adjusted her scope, centering the crosshairs on the gleaming glass doors of the high-rise. Damien's headquarters, the seat of his criminal empire. Roger that. Preparing to take the shot. Wait. Whisper's voice held an unfamiliar edge. There's been a change of plans. New orders from high up. They want him alive. What? Samantha's finger twitched reflexively on the trigger. Alive? After all she'd sacrificed, all the blood on her hands, they wanted to snatch her vengeance away with a few keystrokes? You can't be serious. Deadly. They think he has intel on Xavier Reeves' operation. Your brother. Samantha froze a chill shooting down her spine that had nothing to do with the icy rain pelting her face. Her brother. Her protector. The boy who'd shielded her body and soul from their father's fists. Until the day Xavier had vanished, leaving her alone in that house of horrors. Fifteen years had passed since she'd last seen him. Fifteen years spent hardening her heart, honing her body into a weapon. Training in the darkest corners of the world until killing felt as natural as breathing. And now, we need you to infiltrate Damien's operation. Get close to Xavier. Find out what he's planning. Damien is the key. Samantha's grip tightened on the rifle, knuckles white. Could she do this? Face the demons of her past without breaking? She had spent so long running, burying Samantha beneath layers of steel. Becoming shadow, an assassin feared in darkened whispers. But in the deepest recesses of her mind, in the dreams she woke from shaking and drenched in icy sweat, she was still that helpless little girl. Powerless against the monsters. Not anymore. She was the monster now. And she would have her revenge, one way or another. Shadow, be- Whisper's voice crackled impatiently. Do you copy? I'm in. The words tasted like blood. Oh. Perhaps tears. Mission is a go. As she lowered her rifle, the glass doors, sixty stories below, whooshed open. A tall figure strode out, flanked by suited men. Piercing blue eyes swept the square, set in a face both achingly familiar and alien. A face from a nightmare. Hello, father, Samantha whispered, the rain mingling with the salt on her lips. It's been a long time. Daddy's little girl has come home. Samantha's heart raced as she slipped through the shadows of her father's opulent manor, 
a ghost in the house that haunted her dreams. The sleek black gown clung to her curves, a far cry from her usual tactical gear. A mask. Just like the coy smile she'd forced as Damien introduced her to his inner circle. Natalie Winters, she'd purred, the alias bitter on her tongue. I've heard so much about you, Mr. Reeves. Damien had raked his gaze over her appreciatively, a wolf eyeing fresh prey. All good things, I hope. Samantha had fought the urge to recoil as he brushed his lips over her knuckles, his touch searing her skin. The same hands that had bruised her mother's porcelain face. That had wrapped around her slender throat and squeezed until the light faded from her eyes. Byler rose in Samantha's throat at the memory. Focus, she chided herself, slipping into a darkened office. You're here for Xavier to stop whatever he's planning. Her brother? The golden boy, groomed to inherit their father's bloody crown. While she'd been left to pick up the shattered pieces of her soul. Voices echoed from the hallway and Samantha froze, pulse pounding. A man's low murmur, answered by a familiar rumbling laugh. Xavier dot on. She melted into the shadows, just as the door swung open. Xavier entered, all broad shoulders and predatory grace in his tailored suit. A wolf, just like their father. But it was the man at his side that made Samantha's breath catch. Jace Kincaid. Her first love. Her greatest regret. Time had been kind to him. The boyish softness of his features had sharpened into chiseled angles, his once unruly dark hair now cropped short. But his eyes were the same, a stormy gray that could pierce her very soul. The eyes that had held hers as they'd moved together, limbs entangled, sweat-slicked skin pressed urgently to skin. The eyes that had shuddered with hurt when she'd whispered, I can't do this anymore, and walked away. From him. From the only slice of happiness she'd ever known. Because she'd known, even then, that the darkness inside her would consume that happiness, would drag Jace down with her into the abyss. And she couldn't bear it. Better a clean break. Better he hate her than be destroyed by the wreckage of her life. By the blood that even then had begun to stain her hands. She'd hardened her heart that day, vowed never to look back. But now, seeing him at her brother's side, that familiar ache blossomed in her chest. An old wound, ripped open anew. The shipment arrives tonight, Xavier was saying, pouring two tumblers of scotch from the bar cart. He handed one to Jace. You have the buyers lined up? Jace nodded, swirling the amber liquid. Triads are chomping at the bit. Whatever this new weapon is, they're willing to pay double. Weapon? T the word sent a chill down Samantha's spine. What was her brother mixed up in? Good. Xavier's smile cut like a blade. Father will be pleased. This is our chance to expand the business. With this kind of firepower, no one will stand in our way. Not the Bratva, not the cartels. We'll own this city. Samantha's stomach churned. So this was Damien's plan. Arm his enemies to the teeth, then sit back and watch them destroy each other, leaving him to pick up the pieces. And Xavier was the linchpin, the dutiful son, carrying out his father's bidding. While she'd been cast aside, just another pawn in Damien's endless games. White hot rage seared through her veins. At Damien, for ripping apart their family. At Xavier, for embracing the monster they called father. But most of all, at herself. For being too weak to stop any of it. Never again, she vowed. This ends tonight. She waited until their voices faded down the hall before slipping from her hiding spot and easing open the door. The party was in full swing downstairs, laughter and clinking glasses floating up the marble staircase. No one would notice her absence. She crept down the darkened hallway senses on high alert. She needed to find out more about this weapon, where it was coming from, how Xavier planned to distribute it. But most importantly, she needed to stop it from falling into the wrong hands. The clicking of a door handle made her freeze, heart in her throat. Quickly, she ducked into the nearest room, pressing herself flat against the wall. Hardly daring to breathe, she listened as footsteps padded down the hall, then faded. 
She exhaled slowly, pulse thrumming. That was too close. It was only then that she registered where she was. Yes, Kyle. And Ganya met up there. The room where they'd played as children, giggling beneath blanket forts. Where he'd held her as she wept after their mother's funeral, stroking her hair and whispering broken promises. It's okay, Sammy. I'll protect you. I won't let him hurt you again. Lies, she thought bitterly, blinking back sudden tears. In the end, Xavier had abandoned her, just like everyone else. Left her alone with the monster. A monster she'd soon be face to face with once more. Her gaze fell on a framed photo on the dresser. Xavier and Jace, arms slung around each other, grinning on a windswept bluff. Samantha recognized it instantly, Crescent Cliff. Where she and Jace had shared their first kiss, the salty spray cool against their sun-warmed skin. For a moment she was transported back to that perfect afternoon. The way Jace had cupped her face in his calloused hands, his lips warm and insistent on hers. The way he'd held her after, their hearts beating in syncopated rhythm as the sun dipped below the horizon. She'd felt so safe then, cherished, loved, before the darkness had claimed her. Shaking off the bittersweet memory, Samantha turned to go and froze. There, on the nightstand, lay a familiar coil of black rope. The same rope Jace had used to bind her wrists as he'd driven into her, his skin slick against hers his breath hot on her neck. The rope she'd clung to as she'd shattered in his arms, his name a broken prayer on her lips. Her heart stuttered, then began to race. Had it meant something to him too? All those stolen moments, those fevered kisses, those whispered promises? She thought she'd buried those memories deep, sealed them away with all the other broken, jagged pieces of her past. But seeing it here, in her brother's room, it was almost too much to comprehend. Was it a message? A taunt? Or something more? A floorboard creaked behind her. Hello, Samantha. She whirled, hand flying to the knife concealed at her thigh. But she froze when she saw who it was. Jay stood in the doorway, arms crossed, his storm gray eyes unreadable. And it's been a long time. Samantha swallowed hard, fighting to keep her composure. Hello, Jace. A ghost of a smile flickered across his lips. You look good. But then, you always did know how to wear a dress. Among other things, heat rushed to her cheeks at the memory of the last dress she'd worn for him. Crimson silk pooled on her bedroom floor. His hands hot on her skin as he'd freed her from it, inch by agonizing inch. Worshipping her with lips and tongue and teeth until she was boneless in his arms. She shoved the memory away. She couldn't afford to be distracted. Not now. Not with so much at stake. She lifted her chin, voice cold. I'm not here for a trip down memory lane. I'm here for information. He arched a brow. Information? Don't play dumb. I know about the weapon. About the deal with the triads. I want in. Something flickered in his eyes. Surprise? Wariness? Now why would Damien Reeves' prodigal daughter suddenly be interested in the family business? Maybe I got tired of living in my brother's shadow. Figured it was time to claim my birthright. The lies fell smoothly from her lips. Lies, and yet a kernel of truth. The dark truth she kept buried beneath layers of steel and ice. The truth that had driven her all these long, lonely years. Jace studied her for a long moment, gaze piercing. Searching? Doc? And the real reason? Damn him. He'd always been able to see right through her. Right through the broken, twisted thing she was deep down. Maybe that's why she'd run from him all those years ago. Because he made her feel seen. Made her feel worthy of saving. And she knew with bone-deep certainty that there was no saving her now. Only vengeance. Only blood. She squared her shoulders. The real reason is none of your business. Are you going to give me what I want or not? And what is it you want, Samantha? He took a step closer, gaze never leaving hers. What is it you really want? 
You, her traitorous heart whispered. But she ruthlessly quashed the thought. She'd made her choice long ago. There was no going back. Only forward. Into the abyss. I told you. The weapon. The deal. He was so close now, the heat of him bleeding into her. Memories assaulted her. The slide of his skin against hers, slick with sweat. The taste of him, salt and sin. The sound of her name on his lips as he came apart in her arms. No, she couldn't do this. Couldn't let him weaken her resolve. Stealing herself, she reached for the knife at her thigh. His hand shot out, locking around her wrist. I wouldn't do that if I were you. She glared up at him, pulse pounding. His skin burned against hers like a brand. Let me go. No, not no. His gaze caught hers, stormy and intense. Not until you tell me the truth. The whole truth. The truth? A bitter laugh escaped her. The truth is, I'm a monster, Jace. Just like my father. Just like Xavier. And there's only one way to stop a monster. She saw understanding dawn in his eyes, followed by a flash of something that rocked her to her core. Something fierce and bright and achingly tender. You're not a monster, Samantha. His voice was low, rough with emotion. You never were. You're the bravest, strongest, most infuriatingly stubborn woman I've ever known. And I... He paused, as if stealing himself. I never stopped loving you. Not for one second. Samantha's heart seized. Surely she'd heard wrong. Surely this was another trick, another manipulation. Because no one could love her, knowing what she'd done what she'd become. Jace, let me help you. His hand cupped her face, calloused thumb brushing her cheekbone. She shivered, eyelids fluttering shut. Whatever this is, whatever you're planning, you don't have to do it alone. She wanted so badly to believe him, to sink into the warmth of his touch, the steadiness of his presence, to let him slay her dragons, just like he had when they were kids, playing knights and princesses in the garden. But her dragons had grown, become twisted, ugly things with razor teeth and poison breath. And this was no fairy tale. This was blood and bullets and the acrid smoke of her past, choking her, burning her from the inside out. No, duh. She wouldn't drag him down with her. Wouldn't let him see the full depravity of what she'd become. He was too good, too. Pew, the one untainted piece of her past. And she'd die before she let her darkness claim him, too. Tears stung her eyes as she stepped back, severing the connection. The loss of his touch was a physical ache, a hollow in her chest where her heart used to be. I'm sorry, Jace. Her voice cracked, thin and thready. I can't. Confusion, hurt, and finally a reluctant understanding flickered across his face. He gave a slow nod, jaw tight. Okay. Okay, Samantha. She swallowed hard, fighting the urge to reach for him. To bury her face in his chest and breathe him in, just once more. But she ruthlessly tamped it down. Weak, a vicious voice hissed inside her. You were always so weak. No wonder Damien threw you away. Blinking back tears, she spun on her heel and fled, Jace's anguished gaze burning into her back. She stumbled into the hall, gulping air into her lungs. Her pulse roared in her ears, nearly drowning out the click of the safety behind her. Nearly. She froze, a cold sweat breaking out on her skin. Hello, little sister. Xavier's voice was a menacing purr. Going somewhere? Samantha's heart pounded as she slowly turned to face her brother, hands raised, the muzzle of his gun glinted in the dim light of the hallway, trained unerringly on her chest. Xavier, Dagnay, a descend of Adam on Wadam He. She forced a brittle smile. Long time no see. His lip curled in a sneer, blue eyes cold as ice. The eyes of their father. Did you really think you could just waltz in here and steal what's mine? What I've worked for all these years while you were off playing hitman for hire. Samantha flinched at the venom in his tone. 
Once, that voice had soothed her, chased away the nightmares. Now it cut like a serrated blade, tearing through her defenses and striking at the heart of her deepest fear, that in her quest for revenge, she'd lost the only family she had left. I'm not here to steal anything. She kept her tone level, though her pulse thrummed like a caged bird. I'm here to stop you from making a terrible mistake. This weapon, this deal with the triads, it's madness, Xavier. Innocent people will die. A cruel laugh. Oh, spare me the sanctimony, little sister. As if you haven't left a trail of bodies from here to Cairo. He cocked his head, considering. Or is that what this is really about? You can't stand the thought of me surpassing you, of finally stepping out of your shadow. Disbelief fogged Samantha's brain. Her shadow? Hadn't it always been the other way around? Xavier, listen to me. No, you listen. The gun trembled in his white-knuckled grip. Sweat beaded his upper lip, a vein pulsing in his temple. I am done living in your shadow, Samantha. Done being second best the forgotten son. It's my turn now. My turn to get what I deserve, what I've sacrificed everything for. And no one, not you, not father, not anyone, is going to stand in my way. Samantha's throat closed, tears stinging her eyes. Was this what they had become? Broken remnants of a family? Tearing each other apart for scraps of a madman's approval? Xavier, please. She took a cautious step forward, hands still raised. This isn't you. This anger, this resentment, it's exactly what Damien wants. Can't you see he's manipulating you, pitting us against each other? Just like he always has. For a moment, just a moment, uncertainty flickered in Xavier's eyes. The muzzle of the gun dipped fractionally. I'm not his pawn. Not anymore. Then prove it. Samantha's heart clenched, daring to hope. Help me stop him. Help me end this, once and for all. We can walk away from this. Start over, Rel. How touching. A cold voice drawled from the shadows. My wayward children, united at last. Damien Reeves stepped into the light, hands clasped behind his back, amusement laying about his cruel mouth as he regarded them. Dark eyes, like a shark's, flicked from Xavier to Samantha and back again. Calculating. Assessing? Xavier blanched, the gun dropping to his side. Father, I... Save it. Damien cut him off with a slash of his hand. I always knew you were weak, Xavier. Too soft, too easily led. Not like your sister. His gaze cut to Samantha, a twisted approximation of pride curling his lips. She always had the strength, the fire, the killer instinct. I saw it in her even as a child. Byla scorched Samantha's throat, revulsion shuddering through her. All these years, all the blood on her hands, the darkness festering in her soul, had it all been for him? To earn the approval of the monster who'd shattered their lives, ground their innocence to dust beneath his heel. No. No. No, it had been for her mother. For the little girl who died that night right along with her in a spray of blood and splintered bone. For the hollow-eyed waif who'd stared back at Samantha from the mirror every day since. Begging for justice, for vengeance. For peace. A peace she'd never known. Would never know until the man standing before her, the cancer that had rotted her life from the inside out, was in the ground. Slowly, Samantha reached for the knife sheathed at her thigh. You're to bow one thing, father. I am the strong one. Strong enough to do what needs to be done. What I should have done years ago. Damien chuckled darkly, head shaking in mock disappointment. Oh, Samantha. My fierce, foolish, broken little girl. Do you really think you can beat me? I made you. Everything you are. Everything you've become, it's all because of me. No. Jace's voice rang out, strong and clear, as he stepped up beside Samantha. His hand found hers, warm and steady, their fingers intertwining. An anchor in the storm. You didn't make her. 
You tried to break her, to twist her into your own image. But you failed. Because Samantha is stronger than you could ever comprehend. Stronger than the darkness you tried to plant inside her. And she is not alone. Samantha's heart stuttered, emotion choking her. She squeezed Jace's hand, drawing from his strength, his unwavering faith in her. In them. Xavier looked stricken, gaze darting between them and Damien, a drowning man grasping for a lifeline. Father, I... I enough. Damien's voice cracked like a whip. In a single fluid movement, he drew a gun from inside his suit jacket, leveling it at Samantha's heart. I see I've been too lenient. Too sentimental. A mistake I intend to rectify, here and now. A mistake. The word echoed in Samantha's mind. Her whole life. A mistake. An error in judgment. A blemish to be excised. The final, ruthless pruning of the Reeves family tree. No. No. Not this time. This time, she would forge her own destiny. On her own terms. Power, pure and scorching, surged through her veins. The power of twenty years of pent-up pain and rage, of broken promises and shattered dreams. The power of a little girl lost, finally finding her way home. Go ahead. Samantha lifted her chin, staring down the barrel of her father's gun. No, not her father. Her tormentor, her darkest demon, the architect of her nightmares. But no more. Do it. Finish what you started all those years ago. Bury your mistakes. Damien's finger tightened on the trigger, a vein pulsing in his temple. For a moment, the world held its breath. Then, movement. A blur. A gasp. The crack of a gunshot. But it wasn't Damien who crumpled to the ground, crimson blooming across his chest. It was Xavier. Xavier, who lay sprawled at Damien's feet, a neat hole smoking just above his heart. Xavier, whose eyes found Samantha's as the light faded from them, blood-stained lips moving in a final, soundless plea. I'm sorry. Samantha screamed, a howl of pure primal agony ripping from her throat. She lunged forward, knife gleaming, already slick with her tears. Damien's eyes widened, the first flicker of fear she'd ever seen darkening their soulless depths. He moved to raise his gun again, but it was too late. Samantha crashed into him, a force of nature, of retribution. They tumbled to the ground in a tangle of limbs, the knife flashing as they grappled for dominance. For one final, gasping breath. Samantha! Jace's shout cut through the roaring in her ears, through the haze of grief and rage that tinted her world crimson. She barely felt the blows Damien rained down on her, the sharp sting of the knife slicing skin and flesh as they rolled. All she could see was her mother's vacant eyes. Xavier's broken body. The ruination of her life, of her very soul, all to feed the bottomless void of the man pinned beneath her. No more. It ended. Now. It all ended now. With a wordless cry, she brought the knife down, piercing flesh and bone and sinew. Once. Twice a dozen times, until her hands were wet and tacky with blood, until the struggling body beneath her fell still. Until Damien Reeves, the monster, the nightmare, was no more than cooling meat. Panting, Samantha rolled off of him, the knife tumbling from her numb fingers. She crawled over to Xavier, gathering his limp body into her arms as sobs shook her slender frame. I'm sorry, she gasped over and over rocking him like she had when they were small, when the monsters were still just shadows in the closet. I'm so sorry, Xavier. I couldn't. I couldn't save you. Jace's arms came around her, strong and solid, holding her together as she shattered. He pressed his lips to her hair, murmuring words of comfort, of absolution. But they were lost in the maelstrom of her grief, her guilt. She had come to save her brother to redeem them both from the sins of their father. But in the end, she had only added to the body count, only sealed their fates with the thrust of a blade. What was she now if not the monster she'd slain? Samantha? Dot. Dit. Samantha, look at me. 
Jace's voice, gentle but insistent, broke through the storm. Calloused fingers cupped her face, tilting her chin up until her haunted gaze met his. This is not your fault. None of it. The only monster here was him. He jerked his chin at Damien's prone form, eyes hard. He set this all in motion from the very beginning. Used you and Xavier as pawns in his sick game. But it's over now. He can't hurt anyone else. Samantha shuddered, fresh tears coursing down her cheeks. I wanted to save him. I wanted... I wanted to be free. Her voice cracked on a sob, small and lost. Jace brushed the tears from her cheeks with gentle thumbs, resting his forehead against hers. You are free, sweetheart. It's going to be hard, picking up the pieces. Learning to live without this plague hanging over you. But you're not alone. I'm here, and I'll be with you every step of the way. No matter how hard it gets. He pressed a tender kiss to her forehead, her eyelids, her trembling lips. I love you, Samantha Ray. All of you, even the dark and broken parts. And I will spend every day showing you how to love those parts too, until you see yourself the way I do, as a survivor. A warrior. A woman of incalculable strength and unbreakable will. Something deep inside Samantha's battered soul shifted, cracked open. A stillness amid the storm, a flicker of light in the darkness. Hope. For the first time in longer than she could remember, she felt the stirrings of hope. That maybe, just maybe, there was a way forward. A path out of the abyss forged not in blood and vengeance, but in love and healing. It wouldn't be easy. The wounds gouged into her psyche were deep and festering, carved over a lifetime of violence and brutality. She would carry the scars and the guilt forever. But with Jace by her side, his love an unwavering beacon, she would learn to bear them, to build something new from the ashes of her past. Slowly, painfully, she would learn to live again, to laugh, to heal. Turning her face into the solid warmth of Jace's chest, Samantha allowed herself to imagine it. A future, a life beyond the darkness, beyond the blood and the bullets and the cloying weight of her father's malevolent legacy. It seemed an impossible dream. But then, all dreams did until you had the courage to reach for them. Rising unsteadily to her feet, Samantha cast one last look at the carnage surrounding her. At the fallen king and his broken heirs, the dark dynasty come to its inevitable end. Then she took Jace's hand in hers, and together, they walked out of the shadows, out of death, and into the light of a new dawn.